the giggles this morning. Before you guys sat down, did you take a look at our nativity scene that's been growing each week? You did? So what's missing? Very good. I have and camels, maybe. I have another gift here. Mrs. Paul left me with one of the most important packages of the season. Now here's a really difficult question. How are we similar to that nativity? In what way are we similar to what's there now? It's a tough question. Hmm. You know? Okay, they're people, we're people. That's a similarity. Hmm. What else? Maybe some of you know barns, have farms, see animals. Barn. Hmm. Are we waiting for something? For Jesus, are they waiting for Jesus? So they're waiting for Jesus to be born. Are we waiting for Jesus to be born? But well, did that already happen? Yeah. Yeah. Right. The story is that Jesus was born. So it, we're not waiting for him to be born. What are we waiting for? Hmm. This is why it's really difficult. For him to come back. Mm, yes, for him to come back. We are pretty similar in that regard. We are waiting. They were waiting. They were waiting for the Messiah to be born. We already get to experience that. That's why we retell it. We, we tell the story. We, however, are in a similar boat where we are waiting for him to return. In those words of the Apostles' Creed, we talked about that. He will come back to judge the living and the dead. So in this box, Miss Giggles, could you see what's in here? Okay, who do we got? Oh, careful, careful, careful. Oh, see, you were, exp oh, there, there we go. And, and baby, oh, oh, you dropped baby Jesus. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> That's the family we have. And maybe if you guys were so far away over there, if you want to see, we have Mary. There's Mary. There you go, Asher, can you see? There you go. We've got Joseph with a lantern, because once again, one of the differences is we got electricity. And then, and baby Jesus. Yeah. It was a big deal. He's the, he's the full man, full God who came and was born. And we know that he was born to, oh, careful, careful. I'm just going to put them over here. Mrs. Paul told me to keep them nice. And I'm just gonna, there we go. Jesus was born a little baby. And in our readings today, it talked about all the things that he's going to do. Even John the Baptist, his cousin, said, I'm not even worthy to untie his sandals. Which is kind of a gross thing to think about. I said, you want to untie my shoe for me? Oh, okay. John said, he's not even worthy to do that. Because this is Jesus, the Son of God. He's come to us. He's going to grow. We know this. And ultimately, what is he going to do for us? He's going to save us from our sins. Very good. He's going to grow older, and, and as he does, he's going to grow taller and bigger, yeah. But he goes to the cross. And one of the readings refers to this thing called the robe of righteousness. Because he died for and saved us from our sins, we in our baptism, receive a robe of righteousness. We are covered. You know, we've gotten a lot of rain, and I was really hoping that today would be snow, because when you have a fresh blanket of snow, it really feels like the world's been given a robe of righteousness. It's just been covered in white. It's not cold enough, which is shocking, because it's December. But we now, we've seen what his life is. We, like them, are now waiting for him to come back. And it's a great thing, because when he comes back, 
We all get to see him face to face. We all get to glorify him in heaven. That's a big, big party from what I hear in, in layman terms. And this is Paul does like parties. So, I know, I, I know you had a party in your classroom. So right now we are excited because Jesus is being born and we're recalling the story because we know that he came to save us from our sins. But as now, we are still excited because one day he's going to come. And he's going to come back with glory. And then it's a, it's a great celebration. So right now we are at joy. And it's a joyful thing that we celebrate Christmas. And we also are eagerly expecting his arrival again. So will you pray with me? Dear Jesus... Thank you for coming, you for coming. To, save to save me from my, from my sins. Keep me kind, Keep me kind. Help, me help me listen, and be a light to others. Be with those who are sick, and grant me a healthy week. In your name I pray. Amen. Amen. All right, do you want to help me put him? Okay, gently, gently, gently.